Hello everyone, Kenton Capestu from the Rocket Blocks team here. In this mock interview video, we're going to be sitting down with Daniel Kent, a senior product manager from Classdoor, the career and interview focus company, and he focuses on machine learning services and products for Glassdoor. In this particular interview, we are going to be focused on a question or a technical question around explaining what machine learning is to someone non-technical like your grandmother or your grandfather. So let's go ahead and jump in. Cool. So let's kick things off. And just to start, tell me a little bit like if you were trying to explain what machine learning is to either you know, someone non-technical, like your grandmother or grandfather that has no experience in this, how would you describe that topic? To you? That's a really great question and an important one, because I think particularly for PMs who are you know, focusing on ML, it's important for them to be able to kind of serve as a go-between between both the technical uh, engineers, as well as the different stakeholders, whether yep. they're you know, internal or external. So you know, in general, I'd say that ML is really hel about helping teach computers to perform tasks that they're not specifically programmed for. Okay. Um, so this is in, in contrast to what, what you're not doing is you're not explicitly telling the computer, if this happens, do that. Okay. So in generally, it's about you know, observing patterns and uh, having computers sort of imitate it in a way that could be direct or indirect. So, you know, this could be, you know, just for example, uh, for, for fun's sake, this is sort of similar to how toddlers learn how to interact with the world. So mm -hmm. you could imagine like one, one situation where um, a, consider a toddler in a sandbox. The sand okay. looks potentially pretty tasty. Uh, the toddler isn't given discrete instructions that they can comprehend to not eat the sand. You can't hand them like an instruction manual. Instead, you know, either their parent reinforces through some sort of action that they shouldn't eat sand, like no, or uh, they could be eating sand and it tastes, well, not great. So they don't do it again in the future. This is kind of one type of machine learning. Okay. Uh, one, one more example of sort of like what machine learning could be is say you have a vase and you want to see if this vase is similar to other vases in shape. ML is like taking a mold of that vase and you have a, uh, like a negative imprint of that vase and you try to clap that mold onto other vases and see how well they fit. Got it, okay, interesting. And with that last example, you know, one of the first things you mentioned is, well, ML is like you're trying to teach the computer to do something, but without giving it explicit instructions to do it. Exactly. Where's the part like on the vase, like if you're taking a, a, a like imprint of it and then trying to fit it on other areas, aren't you sort of telling the computer expressly to do like, wh why is that different there? Yeah, no, that's, that's a really good question. It's sort of the equivalent of instead of saying like, if the, the vase, you know, a vase should um, have, you know, these specific points and you're, you're specifically telling it, what you could do and you sort of ab abstract it out and generalize it out is maybe you have many vases uh, that are in sort of the shape, like a, a Greek face, an amphora or, or okay. something. And what you're doing is you're, you're helping the computer learn through lots and lots of data, as opposed to saying like, um, the vase should have, you know, if, if you imagine like the profile on a, you know, coordinate plane, it should have, you know, uh, a point from, or a line from, you know, uh, three to negative one, and then three, or then negative one to negative five, and then you kind of plot it out. So that's very much more rules driven, as opposed to, um, you know, ML, which is a lot more uh, sort of data driven based upon the training. You're, you're trying to teach the computer to recognize patterns. You're saying this is a vase. Bingo. So go try and recognize some more vases. Exactly. Got it. Okay, cool. Uh, 